Uh, my name is Antonio De Palmas. I'm um, Vice President for Global Market Development for Microsoft Worldwide Public Sector. Well, Antonio, you know, you were part of uh, the panel here at World Government Summit's Government Service Forum 2024. What are some of the insights that were shared uh, during this panel? Well, clearly, you know, AI and particularly generative AI is all over the place in public sector, in government services, and I think we could feel the sense of urgency, uh, as well as the high expectations that, you know, government and citizens, frankly, you know, they have on, uh, on Gen AI, how that can improve, you know, the provision of uh, uh, public services, digital services, but eventually have an impact on, uh, on their lives, because that's going to be the most important thing. And I think we touched on some uh, uh, use cases and case studies we've already seen. And I'd like to mention, you know, especially the ones on education and healthcare, because as I said in the panel, when they, when Gen AI, you know, uh, make better our body and our mind with healthcare and education, that's create the trust, that create the inclusiveness and the high value for the citizen. And that's how it should be. Yeah, and you mentioned some really uh, uh, good themes there, you know, trust with the citizens and, you know, education and healthcare. How do you see the next few years of, of you know, AI adoption taking place in the region, if you will, or uh, in the world, if you will, you know, how do you see that happening? What do we need for the successful transition towards uh, AI in general? Um, I think we must keep you know, this enthusiasm and sense of urgency, but at the same time be very mindful uh, that we need breaks, we need guardrails. Somebody said yesterday at a conference, fast cars need strong brakes. I think it's the same for AI. The power of this technology, of this science, you know, of AI needs really to have guardrails, regulations, and we advocate for regulation, for the good regulation, because without that, we cannot really make the impact, we cannot really close the divide, we cannot really make sure there is trust and inclusiveness, and without trust and inclusiveness, uh, frankly, I mean, it will be difficult to actually uh, uh, leverage and uh, unleash all the huge potential of this technology. So you know, regionally, when we talk about the region, the GCC, the Middle East, uh, what, what are you seeing as some of the emerging trends or the focus that maybe the governments have now on artificial intelligence? Well, this is one of the most active regions in the world in terms of Gen AI. And uh, the government of the UAE, they always been, you know, very proactive, very, you know, forward looking about new technology and the AI is no exception. We see very interesting, you know, cases. I mentioned during the panel, you know, the partnership we have with the uh, Department of Health for Abu Dhabi, uh, where we are developing an AI-powered application for patients that can really make their life better in terms, you know, assessing the medical records, you know, reaching out the doctors and improve the quality of their assistance and, and cure. And the other one is with the Ministry of uh, Education of the UAE. Uh, which is, you know, they have formed a partnership with a local startup based on uh, Microsoft technology, and they are developing another A power up uh, on uh, uh, which provide a tutor, a personalized, customized tutor for any students. And that's really, to me, very powerful because, you know, when applied at scale, that can re really, you know, give any student the ability to try, the ability to learn, the ability actually to make sure that, you know, he's doing the right thing, is actually pushing their passions and, uh, and uh, get high, sco high, high score, you know, in the education. But also, I me mean, being more uh, aligned, you know, with the, with the studies, you know, they do. And I think that's also... Again, it's body and mind. So this is very powerful for, for trust and citizens. Excellent. Antonio, thank you so much for joining us here and sharing your insights during the forum as well. And we're uh, confident we'll see you again and yeah. hear more from, uh, from you. It was a pleasure and it was a great pleasure to be, you know, these days here in uh, Dubai at this fantastic government summit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.